now we're going to go ahead and work on our pages. And for our pages, you're going to need to cut out four pieces that are seven and a quarter by eight and seven eighths, okay? And then for the other piece, you're going to need to cut out four pieces that are seven and three quarters by nine and three eighths. So for that piece, you will actually score uh, on the left hand side a half inch down uh, on the seven and a quarter or three quarters inch okay laying across your scoreboard and then you're going to turn it okay and you're going to score a half inch down you're going to score a half inch down on the nine and three eighths inch side okay which when it's laying up across your scoreboard okay so you can score that way and then you're going to fold those in and you're going to cut that little uh x piece right here to go ahead and form something like this okay to form a, a, like a pocket okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to grab your piece that is seven and a quarter by eight and seven eighths and place it on top of the other piece just like that. Okay, and that is going to be our page. Um, don't worry about this piece, okay, if you're new. This is actually going to be the side that fits into your hinge. And then up here is actually going to be for your insert, so for photo inserts or whatever. And we're going to be doing that a bit later, okay. And um, so that you're, that's going to be your page. These are going to be your base pages, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and I have some of my other pages already done. We're gonna go ahead and work on putting together our pages with our flaps and our pockets and things like that. So I will be right back. All right, so now that we have all of our base pages made, now we're gonna go ahead and move into creating our pockets and flaps and all of that fun stuff that makes our pages interactive. So um, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make two of these, okay? And you're gonna make one, or you're gonna make two, sorry, two, that are nine and a half by six and a quarter. You're going to lay this um, across the top and I have a small demonstration here so um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna lay this across the top of your scoreboard and you're going to score a half inch then you're gonna score at four and three quarters and then you're gonna score at nine okay you're going to turn it to the six and a quarter inch side and you're gonna score down a half inch on the left side okay once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and you're only going to cut one side right here, okay, of that X, okay, like this. You're only going to cut that one side, okay. You're going to go ahead and fold this in. And you're going to go ahead and fold that in, okay. Now this is just my example. Your pocket is going to actually be a lot larger than this one, okay? So then what you're gonna do is you're going to cut off this piece that isn't cut like, like this, okay? Because this is gonna help form your pocket, okay? So you're gonna cut this piece that is straight and you're just gonna go ahead and cut that straight piece off. Alrighty, so now you have that piece, just like this. This half inch flap is actually going to go to the back end, okay? Because these two pieces are gonna be like this, and they are going to form your pocket. So you're gonna grab your glue or your tape, whatever you're using for your adhesive, and you're just gonna go ahead and put that on there like that. Bring this flap over, okay, just like this. All right, and there is your little pocket. All right, 
So there is your little pocket just like that. Okay, so now it looks like this one. So depending on where you, you need one that has a flap that faces uh, on the edge of your page on the left side, and then you need another one where the little flap, okay, is going to be glued down to the right side of your page, okay? So you're going to have something like this. All right, so they're going to overlap like this. Okay, that's what they're gonna look like, just like that. You are going to need magnets for each page that we do, okay? So you will need to purchase an extra magnet disc basic gray pack. Unless you already have some magnets, then you can just use what which ones you have on hand, okay? So, um, so that's what we're gonna do there. So these two, we can go ahead and we can lay down, okay? So, yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> so y'all know, I get so excited with this part because I love laying down our pieces and getting it all put together. So again, you're gonna lay that half inch piece, okay? Because you're gonna have one pocket go, you know, go this way. All right, so it's gonna fold out this way, okay? And then, and you're gonna just bring that right to the edge there, okay? Just like that. Okay, so that's how that's gonna look. And then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna fold that over. So this matches here, okay? So they both line up correctly. You're gonna fold the one that you just glued down over and you're gonna line that one up. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna stick this one down on the other side, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead, line that up, push that in, and you are just gonna lay that down just like that. And you're, like I said, you're just gonna make sure that they line up. Make sure that it is lined up to the edge of your page there. Okay, you don't want it going over this part because this is where your page is going to be inserted into the hinge. So you wanna make sure that you're lined up right on the edge of that piece of of your page there, okay? So there are your two um, doors right there. So that is so cute. And then now these open to put your little tags or photos or whatever you would like inside, okay? So now we just have to add our magnets, okay? So to add our magnets, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up the magnet right here, all right? going to grab one negative and one positive okay and I'm actually going to go ahead and place one here on top of this one okay so that's where that's gonna sit alrighty and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that over just a bit more just so it lines up like right, and I'm gonna show you here. Let me go ahead and tack this down. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, see how my doors are lined up like that? Okay. So this is actually sitting like in the middle part or at a little bit um, to the right hand side. So that way um, it's still going to attach itself to the magnet that is going to be laying down on the page here, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and leave that, attach that there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the backing, just like that, and lay that down. Alrighty, so now it will attach 
okay? And it's gonna keep it closed, all right? So there you go. So that is all of that right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now we're on to the back. How simple was that, right? And I went ahead and cut out my uh, pages, okay? And one thing I wanted to let you know real quick is, um, so I'm gonna have to cut down. When you add your flaps, sometimes you might have to cut down it, uh, uh, like a tiny smidge of your uh, mat for your page, okay? Um, especially if you're adding your pockets or uh, flaps or anything like that that, that are uh, interactive, that open up and shut. Um, what I'm gonna do here on this page is I'm going to actually form a this into a little tuck spot area and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to grab my exacto knife and I you all have seen me do this before in in some of my other albums but I thought this would be like super fun so um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just gonna cut around the door okay and so I'm going to turn this sideways Let's start here and I'm just going to cut on that line there. But I thought this would be like really fun to have a little uh, door. Even though it's opening, you know, towards us, I still think it would be really fun to have it as a little tuck spot area. So I'm just going to grab this. And I'm, as I'm cutting it, I'm turning it a little bit. Okay, so you can see me turning the paper. Okay, and I just want to make sure I'm lined up with my current um, cutting line there. And I'm just going to bring that down till I reach about even with the uh, where I started, which is about right where that leaf is. So um, that is probably about right here. So I'm going to go ahead and make like a little knot right there or like a little niche right there. So I know that that's where I need to stop. Okay, so there is that. Now, when you glue, if you're going to do this technique, okay, and you glue this down, do not put glue on the door, okay? You want to leave that open. So, it, and it's not going to flap open, okay? I promise you. So, you will not need to have like a closure or anything there. Your mat will be able to fit right down in there looking for here so like if you have a five by seven mat that will fit right down in there just like that or a six by six or you know whatever you're gonna put in there just like this five by seven okay that will fit right inside of that door area or you don't have to do this you could just leave it like this and put a nice photo over it so but I just thought it would be something fun to do <laughs> so we'll see how it goes <laughs> But you're going to go ahead and just add glue all or your adhesive around the outer side and leave the door um, unglued. Okay, you don't put glue or adhesive or anything down there. You can put some adhesive down here. Okay, so around the perimeter of the door. Alrighty, so I just want to share that real quick with y'all. So I think that's going to be something fun for that page. And there we go. So on the back of page one, um, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to um, have a, a, a double door here. Okay, so for the back of page one, in your scraps, you should have some items that are like this. Okay, and some of them are probably maybe shorter or, or longer than others. And that's okay for this uh, double door effect that I am doing here. So you should have one piece in your 
pile or maybe something close to it that is four and a half by eight and seven eighths, okay? You're gonna score a half inch down the left hand side of that, okay? The next piece that I found in my pile was four and three quarters by eight and seven eighths, okay? And again, if it's longer, just cut it down to the eighth and seven eighths, that's fine. And then you're gonna score a half inch down on that right hand side, okay? And you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put these on here just like this. Again, you will need a magnet, okay? And um, you can go ahead and you can grab, let's see if you, I think you can just grab one and that's, that's gonna work there. But let's see here. Let me see if, you, I don't think you'll need two because of your magnet that's attached to the back of this other page okay I think we'll just be able to use one so um, so you'll only need to use one magnet for that okay I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back in here grab a plus sign here and then that should stick on there just like that so this magnet will stick on the shorter panel uh, the door panel that is four and a half by eight and seven eighths, okay? So you'll want to stick your magnet on that one, okay? Unless you want to do two magnets, you can, but you don't really need to. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put glue on here. Right, just like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and Again, you want to make sure that your door panel is on that side, uh, on the edge there of your page. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to bring that down just a bit. Alrighty, just like that. And same thing with this one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my glue on here, and again you can use your tape or whatever you would like, whatever you're comfortable using, and I'm going to go ahead and place this right on the edge of this side. want to make sure that it's all even. That it's even. So there we go. Okay. I think it is a little off. But I think I think it'll be okay. So um alrighty so there we go. So there is there are the doors and there is the magnet okay and like I said you only need one magnet because if you're gonna unless you want to do two it's up to you if you want to do two you can you can put this one over here and then you will need to put another magnet over you know over here but with the magnet that is here on the on the other side of this page on the front of page one you only really need to use one magnet, so um, and it's gonna go right there because it's gonna attach itself right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. Okay, and it's gonna find its little place, and there we go. That is page one, you guys, and we're done with page one, right? So and then you can go ahead and you can place your paper inside okay and I will have to cut that down again for the flaps all right just like that and then cover uh, your panels and everything so so that is gonna be fun oh my gosh so that is for page one y'all and um, then so I'm gonna just attach this. this is usually what I do I just attach all my stuff for my pages together. So that's page one. We already did the front and the back. Alrighty. 
And then for page two, what we're going to do here is we are going to, again, I already went and cut out my, my um, front mat and back mat for my page. Okay, this is going to go here like this. All righty. And, um, and then I cut the back. The back one is going to be purple. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these off to the side here. And let me find the little, okay, so there is that, okay, and that one. All right. So we are on a roll, y'all. <laughs> so again, you're going to need magnets for this page, okay? And you are going to cut your page. Your first flap is going to be seven by seven and a half, and you're going to score a half inch on the seven and a half inch side. So now your little uh, um, flap here will be seven by seven, okay? And that is actually going to be stuck here up on the top, okay? For the next piece on page two on the front, you're gonna need to cut a pocket page, a pocket piece that is eight by four and three quarters. You're gonna score a half inch on the left hand side and a half inch on the right hand side. You're going to turn it to the four and three quarters inch side and you're gonna score a half inch down that four and three quarter inch side. And then again, you're gonna go ahead and you are going to cut right here at those where that little X is, okay? Right there and that is going to form your pocket. So when you fold it over, it should look something like this in the back. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. And we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna place that down on here just like this. Now before you place your pocket down, I want you to place your mat on this, okay? Um, let's see here, this is the front. So, Got to make sure that I am on the right side of the page. <laughs> so, so, okay. So for the front of page two, I decided to use this piece. It's the stripes with the purple and the green and everything. And then on the back, it looks like this. And I know you guys. I know. I. I it's really hard for me to cut this up. But we've got another one, so <laughs> we can use it. <laughs> so this is actually going to go on here just like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. Before we lay this down, though, we're going to lay down our flap, okay? So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to lay that down now. I'm just smoothing it out because I think I got uh, some glue on the other side here. And, okay. All right, so I wanna make sure that my flap is way up on the top part here. So I'm just gonna lay this down, okay. And I'm gonna move this up here. Make sure it's centered so you will have a nice little border around that area, okay of your flap. All right, so something like this. See how I have a little border here on each side? And it's gonna flap up like this. All righty, and now you can lay this down. Now, check it before you lay this down. Make sure that it's even on the bottom. Okay, because like I said, sometimes the flaps take up a little bit of room. So you don't want, you know, I mean, if you hang over and you put it on and then you, you, you realize you have like a little bit, a tiny bit of excess, you can always just kind of trim that off there if you wanted to. Okay, so you could definitely do that. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just trim off that a little tiny bit. So now I can go ahead. It's probably going to fit nice. Yeah. So it fits pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and place some glue on the back of this. Oh my 
gosh, you guys, it looks so nice. <laughs> it looks so nice. So, yes, so it looks really good, right? So, um, okay, so next we're going to go ahead and we are going to place our pocket down, okay? And this is why I had you not place the pocket down first, because see how our pocket is a little short on either side of that? So you place that kind of like in the middle, okay? Just like that. All right, and you can bring it up a bit if you want some more border to show at the bottom. You can definitely do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my glue to our pocket. So I did leave a, a little bit of a border on the bottom here and then around the sides. So you can always leave a border. You don't have to always have your pocket go from side to side and to the bottom of your, um, your album. You can always leave a nice little border around your pocket. Okay. Alrighty, so now how we're gonna get this to lay down here is we're gonna stick a magnet here, okay? So your magnet, okay, is going to be, again, a negative and a positive. Alrighty, and we're gonna go ahead and have this stick like this. Okay, now this right here is going to be in like, uh, I guess you could just stick it right in the middle if you wanted to, or you could bring it yeah, down. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna lay this down. I wasn't going to, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> so go ahead and just take the backing off of the um, negative part. Okay, that's going to go right there, just like that. All right, and then this is going to go on top of there, just like that. Granted, once I get this piece on here like that, that will help be a closure to that. Okay, and I, you know what, I might, I know this is going to tear, I know this is going to tear, you guys. But I think I might go ahead and raise it up a bit, okay? Don't worry about this, that's gonna be covered. So I'm gonna go ahead, I decided to just go ahead and I'm gonna lay this right here in the middle part. All right. Okay, so I added some glue to this and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place this in the middle. Just like that, okay? And um, then you can take Oops, you know what we're gonna do? Take that off, all right? And that's gonna be just like that. So right now I can leave that there just like that. You don't have to do anything with that because we will be laying a little uh, tag on top of that, just like that. And then on that tag, okay, it's gonna look like that, all right? What you wanna do is grab another little tag and place that on the back of it, all right? So that way it's nice and covered, so you don't have that showing, okay? So that's how you're gonna do that. And I'm gonna add some more glue to that piece, all right? And we're gonna let that sit for a little bit, and I'm gonna glue down this little piece that kinda had an accident here. <laughs> so, yep. But that's okay because that's going to get covered with paper, you guys, so no one's going to see it. So, just you, just you. <laughs> so, okay, so for the back of page two, we are going to actually do the same thing that you did for page one. Okay, so for the back of page two, we are going, you are going to make, um, two of these that are uh, nine and a half by six and a quarter, okay? And you are going to score a half inch down the six and a quarter inch side. You're going to turn it to the nine and a half inch side and you're gonna score at a half inch at four and three quarters and you're gonna score at nine inches, okay? And these are the same pockets that we did 
for the front of page one, okay? So, but now you're just doing two more for the back of uh, page two, okay? So, um, so you're gonna need one that goes um, here, okay? So here's one, just like that. And then you're gonna need another one that goes on the other side. So, go ahead and flip this over, okay? And you're gonna go ahead and put one here, okay? So one is gonna sit here, and the other one is gonna sit here, just like that. So they're going to overlap each other, okay? Just kind of like the one in the front, but for the back of page two, they're actually going to kind of be uh, a catty corner from each other. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so that's how those are gonna look, just like that, alrighty. And again, you, you're you going to need a magnet, okay? And um, let's go ahead and get these down and then we'll do the magnets, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put these down. Just reason um, mine here is leaving about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. I think it's about a quarter of an inch. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's about a quarter of an inch. And then from here, I think I left about a half inch from the top here. So um, you can place a little, um, you know, if you wanted to place a little uh, uh, tab, pull tab on your pocket you can or your mat you can do that okay so that's how those are gonna look just like that and again we're gonna go ahead and grab a magnet okay and I'm gonna go ahead and see where see if this that catches somewhere but I don't think it's going to um, so that is all right so you're gonna grab a positive and a negative one So for uh, this one, because the pockets are kind of thick, okay, and they're going to be going through several pieces of paper, so not only are they going to be covered with our design paper, you're going to have tags in here as well. You're going to place one magnet here, okay, and I'm actually going to put this right here on top of, right in the middle of where our uh, pockets are intersecting right here, okay. So that is where, oh, there it is down there. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna put one right in the middle there, okay? And I'm actually gonna grab my tape here and I'm just gonna stick that down. Alrighty, so just like that. All right, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place this down here and it should, there we go. So that is how that's going to be. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take this backing off of here. Okay. Just. And there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back there. Go ahead and put that down. And there you go. So now you have your magnets down for your pockets. So now your pockets will stay shut, okay? <laughs> so that is how that's gonna look. And then you can make your little tags for your photo mats or whatever. And then you can also use some of these super cute little um, tags from the collection, okay? Like they have this one, this one, they've got that one, that one's so pretty. And then they've got uh, the tall ones. So they've got the tall one here, and that will fit nice on here. Um, and then they've got this little bird one. That would fit really good on there. So you've got lots of different options to cover the front of your pockets there, okay? So go ahead and put that over there. And that is page two, y'all. So we are done with that. So then now you can go ahead and start covering that one. 
Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and finish up the front of page two. Hey y'all, I'm back. So I went ahead and covered the front of page two and I wanted to share with you real quick how we're going to attach this magnet that is at the base of our flap here. And I went ahead and got a six by six piece from the uh, cut apart page and I just backed it up to white cardstock, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we are going to place this on here, okay? And I am going to actually go ahead and remove. I'm gonna go ahead, now that uh, our magnet is sitting here, right? I am going to go ahead, take the backing off of that. I'm going to place this where I want that. Okay, I am going to make sure it's straight. <laughs> And I'm going to press down on that, okay? I'm going to lift that up so now it is attached to the back of that piece. Next, I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to adhere that right on to the back of there, okay? Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my glue and I'm just going to uh, place my glue oops, right around this area, okay? Where my uh, little extra piece is gonna be sitting. So I'm gonna turn this this way. Okay, or actually I need to, I think I need to put it upside down. Or I could use this part here. Maybe I'll just use this part. I like the birdcage. So let's see here, that's gonna sit like this. We need to put the bird cages upside down. Alrighty, and it's going to look like that, okay? So when it flips over, you could see the bird cages right there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to smooth that out, just like that. Alright, and I need to add a little bit more glue underneath here. And there we go. So now what I'm going to do to make this a pocket, okay, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to um, place this down again. We need to put tape on just this piece here and then down here, okay. So I'm going to mark where I need to place the tape. So I'm going to fold this back up with the magnet on there, okay. And, whoops like that. I'm going to hold this in place the best I can. Straighten that out. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to draw a line right on top of that purple part. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and we're going to put our tape on the side there. That mark that we just drew, all right, will help guide us where we need to stop with the tape. So we know we need to stay, uh, have our tape from here and here. And if you want to, once we get this on there, you could place glue at the bottom part and that's gonna form a little pocket for a tag or, or a photo mat, whatever you would like. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my quarter inch tape and I'm going to put it just down this side here. And I'm going to stop a little bit right before the line that I drew. Okay? Just a little bit right before the end of that line there. Alrighty. Okay, so now I can go ahead and I can place that back on there. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this tape off. Turn this around and then just place, the magnet will catch right away, y'all. So, and then just lay that down. 
and it should be on there just like that. So there, that is how you're going to make your little pocket. Now, we still need to uh, put some tape down on the bottom here, okay, or some glue. So I'm just going to grab my glue and I'm going to lift this up and just put a little bit of glue right underneath that area and burnish that down, okay, and wipe that glue right up. All right. And that's how you're going to make your pocket for that. So now, when you have a little tag or something that you want to stick in there, you, it will fold in there. It will just be in right in there, just like that. And this will lift up, and you've got some more space for some more tags and stuff in through here. Okay? So that is how you're going to do the front of page two. And then I just have to cover the these little pockets here, okay? And that is also how you're going to do um, page the back of page three. But we'll walk through that in just a second, okay? Okay, okay. So for the front of page three, you will need a magnet for this, okay? And you're going to need... Um, to cut out a piece that is seven by eight, okay? And you're going to go ahead and turn this to the eight inch side and score a half inch here. So now you're gonna have a piece that is seven and a half or seven by seven and a half, all right? And that is going to be placed way right up here, okay, just like that, all right? Then what you're gonna need is you're going to need a piece that is in your scrap pile, and you should have something around this size that is four and three quarters by four and three quarters, or you can go ahead and cut a piece of your scraps down, because you should have some that are kind of like this, or maybe um, a little larger, let's see here, uh, yeah, there we go, something like this, okay, and that's about almost the same size as that. But um, you should have something in your scrap pile that size, okay? If not, you can definitely cut down some of your bigger pieces to the four and three quarters by four and three quarters size, okay? And um, then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna score on the left-hand side a half inch down on one of the four and three quarters inch side. <laughs> so <laughs> then you're gonna go ahead and fold that back over and this is actually going to go down here like this. So that is where that's going to go. And we're going to go ahead and put this together now. And um, and I know some of you all know that I really like using the scraps from our uh, scrap pile. I really try to incorporate that so you are not left with a lot of scraps. Um, and I even do hinges sometimes on those. So that way on some of our pockets and such. So um, that way it just, it uses up some of your scraps. You don't have to worry about, you know, a lot of them being uh, left over. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna burnish this down some. Okay. Like and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put some glue on here just like that and this is going to go up on top so I'm going to go ahead and just place this right up here on top and whoop, it's a little off you guys a little off so I'm going to put some more glue on here because I don't think I had very much okay all right so now I'm going to go ahead and just place this right up here on top of there, just like that. Alrighty, just like that. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so now this is gonna fold down and then this is gonna fold over on top of this piece. So yay, <laughs> so there we go. So now you're gonna go ahead and you are going to uh, get another magnet, okay? 
and we're going to go ahead and get a positive and a negative and um, I forget where that other magnet is on the other side of the paper here but um, that's okay um, so here I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to set this right in the middle okay so I'm going to set that right there in the middle part okay grab a piece of tape here you can also use your glue, but lately I've just been using my tape. I don't know why. <laughs> but you can use your glue. It'll stick down. It just takes it a little bit long to dry. So, but it definitely does stay down. It does get tacky. Alrighty, and then I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And I'm going to lay that down just like that. This is going to come down, and now your page is done. So that is the front of page three. And then you can cover all of that. Um, you can go ahead and you can put, like I said, one of these pretty little um, scenery tags on top of there. Okay, you'll have to cut it down some, but it'll still work. It's so cute. And you can actually make that into a photo uh, if you wanted to do that. So, how cute is that? <laughs> so, <laughs> I like using those tags for photos, you guys. Can you tell? <laughs> So on the back of page three, um, we have another interactive flap here. So uh, what you're gonna do is you are going to cut two pieces that are four and three quarters by seven and a quarter. And you're gonna go ahead and turn it to the four and three quarters and score a half inch down that left side, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, again, we're gonna go ahead and put these on. And I'm just gonna, here, just like this. Alrighty, one's going to go on the top and one is going to go on the bottom. And see, I had <laughs> I put bottom on there because, you know, otherwise I'll forget and I don't know where it goes. So, <laughs> so, so there is that. And, um, all right, so there's that. And now you're probably wondering, well, if they're far and if they're spaced apart, right, how are they going to close? Well, we are going to add a magnet. So <laughs> how did we know that? <laughs> so to add a magnet, we are going to go ahead and grab another positive and another negative. Okay. And you're going to use a big piece this time. And this big piece is going to go right in the middle part of that and that um it's upside down sorry <laughs> so there we go so that is how that's gonna look and um and what you're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and you're gonna cover uh the back of part of this okay so, so let's go ahead and add our flaps okay and then we're gonna go ahead and do our magnet on here Now I went ahead and I pulled the other one off because we have a magnet on the other side of this page three. Okay, so for the front of page three, um, there's a magnet on the other side. Okay, and so we are doing the back of page three. So since we are doing the back of page three, all right, um, I thought that we would not need another magnet. We just need one magnet. Okay, and I believe the magnet we need is going to be a um, negative magnet. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're going to need. Okay. So let me see here. Hold on one second. Yeah, maybe a positive. There we go. Okay. So you're going to grab a positive magnet. Okay. We're going to put these down just like this, all right, and your little, uh, your little um, six by six piece is going to go like this, right? So what I want you to do now is I want you to flip this over, and I want you to grab a pencil, and I want you to just mark that, 
straight across just like that okay that's going to be your guide and that guide is going to help you um, when you come back after you've covered the top part of your flaps okay that's going to help you where to lay your your piece okay so what you're going to do now is we're going to place this on here just like that okay so you're going to lay down the positive magnet on your page it's going to connect to the magnet that is on the other side of page three okay and which is page, which is the front of page three <laughs> so, hope that makes sense you guys <laughs> hmm. okay so after you draw your line okay you're going to go ahead and connect your your positive magnet to the magnet that is over on the front of page three okay so it's just going to look like that all right then what you're going to do is you are going to go ahead and bring this over okay just like this all right you're going to go ahead and take this magnet off or the backing of the magnet off you're going to grab your piece that you drew your line on all right and you're gonna go ahead and I know I have that little piece there that's because it was on there and then I decided to use the uh, positive magnet instead of the negative magnet okay so your page won't have that <laughs> your page will not have that <laughs> so now you're gonna go ahead and you are going to bring over your little guy here okay you're gonna flap that over and he is going to now be attached to this part okay so if you want to now you can cover this okay and so that way you don't have um, this this magnet showing if you don't want it to show you can go ahead and just grab one of your piece of scraps okay and lay that over it okay go ahead and paper that down okay and lay it over there so that way when you attach this okay it's going to have a nice backing on there okay and you won't see and, this part um, this so part you have it. lots of scraps from your uh, pages that you've cut already your mats so um, so yeah so that is how that's gonna go and then that is going to connect to there so that's how that's gonna stay closed okay and I will be back before I lay this down so we can uh, place this on together okay so that is for the back of page three all right so okay y'all so now we're going to go ahead and finish up the back of page three hey y'all okay so we are on the back of page three and i wanted to show you real quick how we're going to go ahead and uh do our closure for this page so i went ahead and i i papered uh, my my uh, back of page three okay <laughs> so now and we have our magnet already covered on the other side of this okay so it's right here and then we had already attached our magnet um, earlier so what we're going to do is we're going to attach this to a white piece of paper just like this okay and that is going to sit on there like that so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and put our glue on here so all right so there is our our little card and so now what I'm gonna do is it's going the magnets already attached to this piece here so we're gonna go ahead and I am going to um, glue this piece down here okay just like this all right that's going to be glued on there like that so basically we're going to go ahead you're going to hold on to this piece as you bring this down okay and you're just going to go ahead and draw a line on the back okay and if you want to you could definitely erase that later 
if you want to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place some tape on the back of here. So when you're adding your tape to the back of that card, you want to make sure that you stay in between the line that we drew and then the upper part of that card, okay? I have my tape on the back of this, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead, again, I'm going to bring this up, and I just want to make sure that I'm where I'm supposed to be. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off. And if you want to add glue to this, you could do that as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue. This, the glue just helps kind of maneuver it a little bit. So if we need to uh, move this around to set it, then that kind of gives us a little bit little bit of leeway there <laughs> so there we go and it just caught on real quick you guys so then you're just gonna go ahead and smooth that out just like this all right just like that okay. and you're gonna flip that over just like this okay like that and then there you go so if so here you have a little piece I left unglued right in through here so I can go ahead and slide a piece of uh, uh, the extra scrap paper pattern paper that I have and I could just slide that right underneath there okay and I can trim that down all right I might just go so, ahead and grab my pencil and I'm just gonna draw around that Okay, just like this. Alrighty. Bring that out, and then now you can go ahead and cut around that area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that out. Alright, so there we go. So now I'm I can go ahead and I can lay my tape across the here. And if you have a little bit uh, poking out at the top, you can definitely trim that off, you know, once you get your paper in there. Okay. Alrighty, so there we go. So, um... So now you have your little closure. How cute is that? So I'm just going to cut off the excess on this. And I have a little pencil mark right there. Any imperfections or anything, you can always cover up like with the flower or um, you can, you know, do anything like that if you wanted to. So now this is a closure and look at how cute that looks. So, and then you can fold it over and we're gonna cover, I'm gonna cover the inside of these, okay? So, um, that will be covered and so there you go. So that is super cute So and then uh, I wouldn't have it covered this side here. So that's nice and covered So that is at uh, the page three Okay, y'all so up next is part three with page four and all of the elements for that page and the little box closure that I have for our album So thanks for joining me today, and I will see you soon Bye!